Blake was just natural. You know, whether it was in football as a tight end or basketball or baseball as a catcher, third baseman, he needed the competition. He didn't need to be in off season, you know, baseball or off season football. He was big and strong enough that he could compete at that level and you know, it was it was fun to watch him. You know, he had a tremendous arm, but he also had a lot of power. He wanted to hit. Uh, you know, he's a catcher in high school, an outfielder. We played him in the outfield, first base. We moved him around a little bit. And, uh, you know, as much as we, we asked him to pitch, he, he just really didn't want to do it. He wanted to be a hitter. I think my first word was even ball. And when, uh, when anyone asked me what I wanted to do growing up, I wanted to be a professional baseball player from, from the day I could talk. We'd been in the state playoffs several years in a row. We'd always gotten to the semifinals or whatever. The whole group comes back the next year. It was kind of extraordinary because, you know, they were expected to win it, and, you know, expected to do well. And they walked right through the season, won the conference, went and won the state championship. They didn't falter. They didn't deviate from the course. And, you know, that's just what they wanted to do. Some of the best memories that you have are from you know little league all the way up to high school. Um, you know I think that's one of the biggest differences jumping from high school to college, even to pro ball. You're going into a new situation. You go from playing with your best friends to, to playing with a bunch of guys that you don't know. But I think that's part of it: getting to know the guys and getting to know that, uh, that you have their back and they have your back, and trusting in each other and going out and grinding and battling with them every single day. That's what develops good friendships um, that last forever. He was always running late, and his group of friends, old Cole Nanny and Rick Elliott, and the whole slew of them, you know, they were always covering for Blake, and they'd call him and say, hey, you're late for practice, or the bus is fixing to leave, hurry up. So we get to see Fayetteville High a lot. You know, you see a big physical kid like that with that arm, it kind of stood out pretty quick, and to me, watching him play and seeing that arm play and the power potential there could, uh, you know, could really tell that th this was a guy that we needed in our program. You know, I've really watched Blake over the years just really persevere. And, uh, you know, he's had to prove himself year in and year out, and it's really good to see him back with the Angels. It's an honor every day to be able to go out and, and play a game that I grew up playing and get paid for it. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. It really has been something that I've dreamed of uh, since I was little. When he comes back and he works out still in the, in the winter time with, with the high school team, with Coach Gallagher and his group, just like he did when I was there. And yet, when he comes back and he's a major league player and you don't know how to approach him, you know, or whatever, if he's changed, but once you start talking to him, he's just still a big kid. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone who uh, helped me along my way, uh, along my way. Um, you know, Coach Arnold there at the high school obviously was a big mentor for me um, and my friends. You know, he g he gave us the he gave us our individual individuality. Um, he let us he let us have our own personality, but at the same time, he he was really our leader um, as far as that goes. I'd like to give a big shout out to my mom and dad um, who were there for me every every day. Uh, always taking me to practice, always there for me, picking me up, a good game or bad game. And everyone else there at Fayetteville High, obviously it's such an honor to be inducted into the Hall of Greats. And uh, go dogs. <laughs>